I thought I would do another vlog video since y'all seem to like that last time, right? Last time I did one of these, um, I nearly choked to death on some Diet Coke, which y'all thought was hilarious. Okay, I did too. <laughs> That's why I posted it. It was pretty funny. <laughs> but today, I am drinking water, so hopefully that won't happen. And I'm not going to drink while I'm filming this time either, for safety reasons. Okay, um, I just thought I would just tell you what I've been doing, um, you know, in case there's actually a, a fraction of my life that I haven't filmed and uploaded. <laughs> I've been trying, see here's the thing, here's my goal. Uh, my goal for this year, or for now anyway, is to try to upload five videos a week. You know, ideally Monday through Friday, but I'm terrible about sticking to schedules, so I'm not going to say Monday through Friday, I'm just going to say five, and then whatever five it happens to be, it, I'll go with that. That's good. That's good enough. And so far, I think I'm doing okay. So we'll see how long I can actually keep up that momentum. Hopefully I can't, and it's not that I don't have enough ideas to film to, to do that. I do. It's the editing and the uploading and, you know, that whole thing. The, the pictures, oh, the taking the pictures, I don't like doing that. Um, it's just, you know, it's extra stuff I have to do. And then I've been trying to do some blog posts in conjunction with the videos, which is really not that big of a deal because I don't put a lot in the blog posts, but still, again, with the pictures, and I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just more of a video person, I guess. I just need to hire me an editor. <laughs> yeah. Um, what have I been up to? Okay, been watching some videos. Watched one the other day. Uh, no, can't remember who it was, but I will find the video and put a link in the video description because it was awesome. Or maybe I'll even put a little... <laughs> I don't know where it is. I think it's over there. <laughs> one of those little... Um, the letter I, if you click on it, you know, you can go to other videos. I'll put it somewhere because this was not my idea. I took it from this video that I saw and I thought it was just brilliant. And this girl was, um, she had some, her little bitty stamps, you know, and she was putting them in a, a box, a little divided organizer box, you know, like the, the ones we all have with the lid. Hers was fancy. It was, it was nice if I remember right. And then she was stamping the images for each compartment um, on the lid because each compartment had like a lid or something. <laughs> I really did watch the video. It's just been a while. But, okay, that doesn't work for me because I don't have the same kind of box that she has and I'm probably not going to get one. So, um, I started digging around in my empty containers to see what I could find to use to do something similar to that. And I found this, which, y'all, I have had for probably 25 years. It came with, or it didn't come with, it was one of the accessories you could get with one of those purple and turquoise totes, you know, that had the removable top section like we had back in the day, you know, when we thought that we could put all our craft supplies in one tote, remember? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we all bought those. I'm pretty sure we all bought those back then. And they have some of these accessories. They fit in the top removable compartment thing. And this one is divided like so. So, can you see it? I don't know how, how much I can tilt it without it spilling. I filled it with my itty bitty stamps. And I had these all out because I was using them not long ago to make the, the inchies for Cat Hands uh, Mixed Media Morsels. So when I went to put them away, I thought, oh, why bother? Why do that? Why just stick them in the drawer with all my other big stamps where they're just going to get lost? Why not put all your little bitties in here? Because then I can put this with my embellishment tackle box that I've showed before, you know, that has all the little things in it. Uh-huh, I can put this in there. And it's great. I can't really, you know, stamp on the lid of what's in there because some of these have, like, there's dozens of stamps in here. This is all... <laughs> Y'all, this is all arms. <laughs> I'm serious. I have a compartment full of arms. <laughs> they are for like making your own stamped, you know, like a paper doll. I have parts because this was back in the day. The company doesn't even exist anymore. I'm sure if I could remember who it was, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they don't exist. 
but you could here's the arms and then I've got some uh, where's the legs oh I've got a couple of individual legs and then a set of legs a couple of those and then there's different wings and then some a uh, couple of different kinds of torsos this torso has a head oh it's not a full torso it's more of a bust but you know get creative and then the arms and the legs and then I have a whole stack of heads so I can just make me some little dolls that I love so much <laughs> no they're people little people so um that was just to illustrate that I can't possibly, you know, stamp these on a something to, to show what's in this compartment because there's too much in the compartment. But I, at a glance, I can see what's in my different compartments. You know, I've got my people parts and then I've got a whole compartment full of flies. Yeah, the bug. Fly. Why do I have so many fly stamps? Uh, I don't know, but I have a whole compartment full. <laughs> and then I have some more interesting, some game pieces, some some objects, pocket watches, some postage um, deals, and, you know, various things like that. So I just thought this was a really brilliant idea to keep all of your little stamps together because it just makes sense. I did that, and I have been working on covers to make books to give away for our... 20th, no, not our 20th anniversary, our um, 20,000 subscriber celebration. And I'm doing pretty good. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't think I'll use those. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Only got five more covers to make. Then I have to put the insides in. And they're just going to be small little journals like this. I'll have some kind of hand painted or collaged cover by my hand, just so we're clear. And then inside, I'm putting this awesome uh, Tomo River paper. This is that super smooth paper like you find in Hobonichi books, you know. It's extremely thin, but amazingly um, uh, non uh Porous, that's not the right word. Pens, inks don't bleed through easily on it, even though it's so thin you would think that they would, but they don't. So it's just great paper and it feels good. And these will probably be simple staple bound because uh, I, I, you know, 20, I, I'm doing the best I can here. <laughs> You're going to get staples most likely. But I've got some fun covers that I'm working on and all different shapes and sizes and all different ways that the covers are made. That's one of my fused mad scientist creations. I've been doing a lot of this lately. I don't think I've showed y'all. Just strips of paper and there's just something really kind of awesome and fun about gluing strips of paper to another piece of paper. It's one of those weird things and y'all can relate. We've talked about this, you know, at length about how soothing it is to just glue one piece of paper to another. <laughs> but these these are fun. This is a piece of fabric fused between or glued between two pieces of I think wax paper. Maybe parchment or no not parchment. Wax paper or deli. I think it's wax. And then just some other weird painted papers. So whenever I get all of these done um, I will have a drawing and you will have an opportunity to win one of these little small journals for no reason. And uh, then you can figure out what to do with it or not. Okay, let me say a word about this because I'm getting this a lot again and it seems to go in cycles. You know, sometimes I just like every other comment is, oh, that's awesome. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> And then there will be months and then no one will ask what I'm going to do with it. And then it comes back. It's great. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> Can't wait to see what you can do with it. I just want to be clear that these things don't have a purpose. And for me, they don't have to have a purpose. They may need to have a purpose in your home, and which is perfectly fine. Not judging you because that is, you know, that's 
perfectly fine. I get it. Mine don't. If I have made the book, this one in particular gets has been getting a lot of questions. What are you going to do with the questions lately? The junk mail journal. Yeah, it just seems like at least once a day someone says, oh, I just can't wait to see what you do with it and, and how it ends up. What I'm going to do with this journal has already been done. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> you know, done with that. And this one, okay, I am probably going to continue to add to this one because it's kind of calling out to me. But I'm perfectly fine with this being the finished product. You know, and, and finished is relative. As long as it's in my house, I have the right to go back and, and do something in it, which I may. But I may sit this on a shelf for three years and not touch it again. I may sit it there permanently. I might stick it on Etsy. It might end up in Happy Mail. I don't know. But I just want to drive that point home again that it, it's okay to make things that don't have a purpose or that don't end up in some kind of like a finished, completed project. You know, I, I might make five journals in a week. I can't fill them. What, what, you know, I'm retired. <laughs> I'm a retired homebody. I can't fill one journal, much less five. <laughs> so, so keep that in mind. You know, if you're tempted to, to say, ooh, can't wait to see what you do with it, you've already seen it. Because what I'm going to do with it has already been done. I made it. And I loved making it. It made me happy to make it. This is good for me. I love this. I can go in and put stuff in it or not. Just enjoy it. So that was just a friendly reminder. Thought that was. <laughs> just don't forget that I don't have a reason or a motive behind anything I do. I just do it. You know, whatever happens after that happens. If nothing happens, oh, that's good. Go on to the next thing. Case in point, um, this stack of I don't know what. Okay, this, I can't even remember what this started out with. I think it was a, a heavy uh, postcard mailer, junk mail thing. And then I just collaged a bunch of, these are discontinued papers from Canvas Core Brands. Lots of, I think they were some Seven Gypsies paper lines that are, are not um, being made anymore. So I was just using up some of those. They're awesome papers. Collaged them on there, no reason. Did a little paint to no reason. Um, sure, it could be a journal cover if I get inspired to do that. It may end up as one of the giveaways. Ooh, that's a good idea. I just thought of that. Okay. 16. <laughs> Further along than I thought. <laughs> um, but at the same time I made that, I had extra scraps left over. So I pulled two pieces of paper out of the paper pad I was using, which is, you know, this, whatever this size is, six by six maybe, and then just kept collaging that with some other papers and then some paints and just made two, I don't know what, but they'll end up on something someday, so there they are. And when you have things like this that you make and you don't know what the heck to do with it, just make a designated area to keep those things. Put them in a box or container of to be revisited later or whatever. If they're taking up room in your house, give them away. Get rid of them. I promise you someone will want them. <laughs> Trust me on that. Uh, this is, a, a, yeah, I had a baby wipe or something that I put on there. This one, I really kind of like this one. This is a, I may save this for one of my Patreon folks because I, I make cards for them and then include a handwritten note. And this one's kind of awesome. It was just some scraps of scrapbook paper, and um, I don't even think I painted on it. Uh-uh. I didn't. I just used like a, a graphite pencil around the edge to give it that. It's pretty cool. Strips of scraps. Scrap, strip, strip scraps, whatever. Made a really cool looking card. So, there's those things. What am I going to do with them? I don't know. I'm just going to hold on to them. Until I figure out what to do with them. Okay. Don't laugh and don't judge me. I bought a planner. I'm just like in planner hell lately. I am not a planner person. I, I, I make or use some kind of planner every year, or at least I intend to, and then I never use it throughout the year because I haven't had much of a need for it. Okay, this year I'm finding that I'm forgetting things. I'm 
you know, getting a little bit busier and, and, and I'm losing track of some stuff. So this one, I got this off of Amazon. It's called the 2016 Coloring Day Planner. I thought that would be fun because then, if, here's my thought. If I totally fail to use it as a planner, I can still color in it because it has some coloring book pages. <laughs> so it won't be a complete waste of money. But it looks like this on Amazon, 2016 Coloring Day Planner. And it's got a couple of these little, you know, clear deals. And then here's this. And then I stuck a pocket inside the front to hold some little extra note things. And then I made pockets out of some of the first pages that are just like information pages, the stuff that, you know, return to this person if lost. I, I don't need that. You know, didn't need it at all. So I folded it up, made a pocket out of it to put stuff in. It looks like the, I'm like on the verge of having a plan with me video, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> well, never say never. It might, but that's certainly not on my radar right now. Okay. Next, um, okay, yeah, I made that pocket. Then this was another page that I didn't need, so I folded it this way and made a pocket out of it. And this is a little book from my other planner that has some, um, I keep things in here like directions to places that I need to go and don't go often enough and then I forget. And, and then this, I kept this bottom part because it has a calendar, two yearly calendars on it. And then this I didn't need, so I just covered it with that. And I might put something like yearly goals. If I suddenly get some yearly goals, I could put them there or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's just an excuse to put a piece of paper there. See, I actually have kind of colored some of the stuff. I sort of started on that one. And this is January. I really didn't start using it until this month, till February. And then I haven't used it a lot. And I have been using my colored pencils in it since, you know, it's a coloring thing. So I just put colored pencils around some dates I need to remember on the monthly calendar. And then it has the weekly things like this. And there's a couple little coloring areas on each weekly page. And um, then I went in and started, okay, like this one is this week, yes. And see, I kind of did some outlining, and I colored that one. And then I just went through, you know, several weeks ahead and just added some color on the pages just because, you know. And that's probably all I will do unless I'm just bored sitting there and want to color in one of the coloring book deals. Oh, I did do more. <laughs> I lied. I did do more than that. I forgot. Some of them I colored in, you know, lightly with colored pencil the whole day. And it's light enough, I can still write over it just fine. These are Prismacolor pencils, which are real waxy and can be hard to write over, but the pen I use in here, I can write just fine. And then I just did some more light scribbling with Prismacolors. You probably can't see this because of the glare from my studio lights. It's an open window, actually. Okay, so, yeah, that is my... Um, planner experiment and I haven't really done like a planner video about it because I don't know what its life expectancy is. <laughs> it very well could have just reached its life expectancy. <laughs> you know, I was kind of waiting to see if I actually use it before I, I do a whole video on it. So we'll see. And then writing in my planner, I was reminded about how much I hate my own handwriting. I don't like it. It's not the worst in the world, you know, it, it, but it irritates me because I don't like it. And I want to improve it, so I bought this off of Amazon. I can't remember. It's about maybe $10 or so. And it was the set of books for the Spencerian penmanship. I don't know. It looks really old-fashioned. And it's just these work pages. There's four books in the set. This is the first one. I don't know if I'm going to get through the first one because, oh, my gosh, it is so tedious because this is what every page looks like. It's good to do, you know, while you're watching TV, because it doesn't require a lot of thought. But, oh man, it's repetitive. <laughs> I'm not good with repetitive. That's where I am so far. <laughs> so, uh, I can't really say that it's improved anything yet, but I'm on the first book. So, 
we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Um, coloring. Okay, I know I showed this before. This one was unfinished last time I showed it, and I finished it. And I love it. Can you see it? Hope so. It makes me happy. And then I did a... Oh, I did one with markers to see what that would be like. I didn't like it. Because all I had were markers that were... Okay, most of them were Sharpies. Don't use a Sharpie. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't like this page. The back, this is the back of the, the acorn page, which I don't like. So I'm fine with it bleeding through, but ooh, it bled through. And this is good paper. So I have some little fine point, those Stabilo markers. So I'm trying those on here, and I'm not thrilled with those markers either. They are better for writing than for coloring in because they're way too fine. I really think I just need to use my, um, oh, the flare markers. But they bled through too, if I remember right, because I used some flare felt tip pen things on here. I have to retest those and see. Oh, did I show those? I don't think I showed the bunny. I did the bunny. And then I did the, I know I did that one because I don't know what it is. It's either a hedgehog or a porcupine. I can't decide which one. So, did that. Okay, that's the marker one. Yeah, that's that. And then the squirrel I'm working on. There's another one. Oh, this one, which I'm working on too. And, you know, I have like specific colors in mind that I want to use for it, which gets really boring after a while. So it'll take me a while to get through that one. And that is all of the coloring. Got my new episode of Flow, or my new issue of Flow. Y'all, I'm having a really hard time with this because I think, you know, I mean, the, the object is to use the things that are in here. I can't bring myself to cut anything out and use it. <laughs> I've got several issues so far. This was gifted to me by my BFF Samara <laughs> and I, I love them so much that I have a see and I could just think of a million things look at her she, this is just like a journal page already practically just fabulous I can't take it off the book I don't want to so I'm having a little issue with that and I'm going to get over it eventually I'm just going to have to dive into one of them and, and go and see what happens but this is such an amazing magazine and last thing I wanted to talk about, I got, I ordered my um, 2016 travel book from Oklahoma. Can, have we, can we all just, just say Oklahoma has the best travel guides? I've gotten some from other states, and so far nothing compares to Oklahoma this year or last year. Okay, last year's was fabulous. You know, it had the tooled leather look. But y'all, look, this one, it comes with its own headache. <laughs> I look at this too much. I get a major headache, but it's cool. But the best thing about this is the size. You know, it's like um, square, and it's like the IKEA catalogs. You know, they just have that fabulous square size. And the pictures in here, oh. That has one good-looking chicken fry steak right there. But there are other, you know, more um, impressive pictures in here. I can't get past the chicken fried steak. <laughs> okay, just trust me. There are. Okay, there's, there's a nice one. There are awesome pictures. So don't be disappointed if you order this. And it's not the tooled leather 2015 version because this is a darn fine magazine. And we should all really appreciate Oklahoma for sending these out for free so generously. And I have vowed to stop making fun of Oklahoma, which is not an easy thing for a native Texan to do. I also ordered the uh, Oklahoma Route 66 guide, which is great. It's got some fabulously kitschy pictures in it somewhere. Uh, I don't know, but look at this fold out map. It's just all like retro looking and fun. So that's cool. And I got the Oklahoma map. I got the uh, Cherokee Nation brochure, which is all sepia toned and excellent. And then the single page flyer from the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. Yeah, they have a whole collection of Chihuly sculptures. So that's pretty cool. 
you must order this one. You absolutely must. This is from the, the Oklahoma Travel um, brochure site. It's called Discover Your Roots Along Our Roots Genealogy Travel in Oklahoma. It's the genealogy book. It's this lovely, it looks almost like faded denim color inside. Y'all, check it. And the paper, it's that weird coated, uh, I don't know what you call it, paper. But you know, you've felt it before. When you feel it, you'll go, oh, I felt this before. I wonder what it is. But look, does it not just look like a journal already? This this is just like already ready and waiting for us to color. To do something fabulous in it. And then back here, y'all, it's got a pocket. How can you not love that? And then this county guide, which just has a list of, of like the, the courthouses and the, the places to research your genealogy throughout Oklahoma. And the colors are great. This is amazing. Well done, Oklahoma. So, that is it. I think that's all. This is just going to be a short little update and look what I have done. <laughs> Dragged on forever. Feel sure. So, all right, that's it. Um, thanks for watching me not choke. The end.